If you're living that mug life, you have got to know how to ship them. Here we go. Hey everybody, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are going to be shipping some mugs. We got little mugs, we got big mugs, we got chunky mugs. All the mugs, not all the mugs, but I have three mugs. Three mugs to show you guys two different ways that I am shipping mugs out. I have these two, which will go out my standard normal way. This one's may a maybe because it's a little bit bigger, um, but I'll share, I'll try it. If not, we'll ship it the other, the other way. You don't know the other way yet. And then I have a method for shipping larger mugs. So this Hello Kitty mug is a bit wider and bigger than like a normal standard size mug so it won't really work with my normal mug shipping method and this also is the same way I'm going to show you how I when I ship this one when I have taller mugs I ship them this way the second way that I'm going to show you okay so starting out what I do with my mugs my regular size mugs I need a six by four by four box you can see I get that from eBay but you can get them from there it is six by four by four uh, you can get them from Uline or you can get them on Amazon, wherever you like to get them. I like six by four by fours. I also, you'll also need a padded flat rate mailer, which if you are in the U.S., you can get those from the post office for free. And that really standardized, standardizes the shipping price on how I price ship my shipping for my mugs. I put $8 to ship my mugs because that'll cover the seven whatever it is. Then you'll also need bubble wrap, and I use tissue paper and or craft paper. So I've got my tissue paper like that, and it's Christmassy, even though I know somebody's gonna say, but what if they don't celebrate Christmas? Well, it's really there to protect your mug, okay? All right, so let's start off. So I've got my six by four by four. I guess I could probably turn my camera down, but we're just gonna do it. I will show you as we go. I have two squares of bubble wrap and I'm going to take my mug. This is a camera mug that just sold and I'm going to make sure that the handle is wrapped. Then I'm going to roll it in, roll it around, and then I'm just going to tuck it into the hole. You just kind of curve it around the hole like so. So it looks like that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is take my tissue paper. And you guys, if you've seen any of my shipping videos, you know I like to make a nest in my box. So I make a little nest, cause I'm the mama bird shipping. <laughs> so then I make a little nest inside my box, take my mug and slide it right inside. I fold my tissue paper over. And then I have a thank you card with a coupon code that I stick in the box on top. So it looks like that. I take it and I slide it around like so. And then I tape it up. Now I've got my mug all boxed up. I take my bubble mailer, my padded flat rate bubble mailer, and my box will fit in the mailer. Now, I get questions frequently about the post office and do they mind that the envelope is bulked out like this? And they don't, or mine never has given me trouble. And I think their motto is if it ships, wait, if it fits, it ships. So it fits. Then I close it up and then I'm gonna tape around it to make it, make sure nothing, it can't get caught in any kind of machine or tugged on or anything like that. There's that, then I write the initials of the person or if I don't have that pulled up, I'll just kind of jot the, this was the camel mug on there. And so then my label will cover that. That's fine. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So my next mug that I'm gonna ship is this Hello Kitty mug and it's a bit bigger. And as I said, even the taller mugs, like I've got a tall, what's the other one I've got over there? I don't know, it's a Nemo or something like that. Like a taller, ship them this way. So this time I'm going to use an 8 by 6 by 4 box and this is another eBay branded box that I've got. I'm going to use bubble wrap, same inside, bubble wrap and tissue for the box. So I've got three. I may or may not need three but I've got three. 
So I'm gonna, again, make sure that I have reinforced the handle. And then I'm gonna roll it around, tuck it in the cavity, <laughs> stuff that turkey. <laughs> Can you tell there's nothing kidding? Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to make a nest. I might need a little bit more paper and a little more reinforcements at the bottom. One thing I might try, here we go, since we're talking about it, because I'm making, because I'm using a little bit bigger box, I'm going to go ahead and add a half a sheet of craft paper in the bottom just for like a cushion. Just for a cushion. There we go. Now I will make my nest, like so. I will take my mug and I will just slide it right in there, like so. And then I think I'm going to just take another piece of my tissue paper and kind of tuck around. So I will, like so, I'm just going to take it and kind of tuck around my mug. And then my thank you card with my coupon code on top. And then that one is ready to go. Yeah, this one's just at a pound, so I still have that priority shipping on these, so pretty much all my mugs are shipped priority mail. Last one, let's see if it fits in my 6x4x4. If not, I'm gonna have to make an 8x6x4 for this mug. I think we're gonna have to construct an 8x6x4 for this one too, because it's poking up a little too much. Sometimes if it's bowed up a little bit, I'll still try it and slide it in the, in the padded flat rate. But that one is a little more than I'd like. So I am going to be shipping this one the same method as I shipped the Hello Kitty one. All right, but this is what I do. So sometimes I think it's gonna fit in there and it doesn't, so I've gotta go plan B it and pull out my other box and ship it the other way. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you are looking for some of these supplies, I will link those sites down below. And I will see you on the next one. Have a really great afternoon. Bye.